Hello there folks, these are the hands of me, Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting, and here we have got a rather nice bright orange Fabriano A5 journal, and I think this is a fantastic little minimalist notebook here, and I'll show you why in just a second, but first of all we'll have a quick look, uh, you can see you've got the Fabriano logo there, you've got your sort of classic large notebook elastic strap to keep it all together, if we flip it around onto the back, see uh, Fabriano made in Italy, and just the general information, and well, if we pop this open, just have a quick look on the inside. These are cardboard covers on the front and the back. The back having one of these um, diagonal cutaway pockets, so you can obviously keep loose uh, bits and pieces in there. And well, as you can see, this is a line journal. And the paper is, it's a, it's pretty thick. It's a uh, nice and smooth, and it's very slightly off-white, not pure bright white. Um, and I think it says on the side, uh, yeah, 80 grams per square metre, so that gives you a bit more for any uh, paper buffs out there. But what I think is um, nice about this is, because it's an uh, A5 side, it's slightly wider than uh, standard sort of large notebooks, such as a classic um, large moleskin. And, well, this is why I think it's quite a nice minimalist um, look. As you can see, because it's got a cardboard cover, everything sits nicely together and it's all cut to the same size. Whereas with um, the Moleskin, this is a hardback large notebook, and because the uh, cover is slightly bigger than the paper, it just gives it more of that sort of sandwich with a filling look. Um, the Fabriano doesn't have a bookmark though, but as you're literally surrounded by sheets of paper, I'm sure you can um, figure that out for yourself. But, like I say, it is slightly wider um, than the Moleskins and other uh, large notebooks, like uh, Cartesios, for example. And, well, that, for me personally, is what I really like from a notebook. Having more space to go outside, uh, outwards, as I've said in previous videos, I don't like um, too much of a sort of 16 by 9 on its end aspect ratio, because it feels like you're writing in a list rather than across a page. Um, but like I say, this has just been a very quick look, as I have got, if we move the camera, a very large collection of notebooks and all sorts of brands, and I will, in a second, start filming a comparison of these general sized large notebooks. So this has been a very quick look at a nice little Fabriano notebook here. I'll say check out my other videos for a load more notebooks and pens and bits and pieces like this, as well as Life on an Arrowboat. Make sure you subscribe, like the Facebook page, and well, until the next time, have a great day, and I'll see you around soon. Farewell.